Well, hello YouTube. Today is April 10th. It is a Wednesday. Silver Bugle here. Wondering if I shouldn't be changing my name to Gold Bugle. I seem to be stacking a lot more gold lately than silver, which is a bit curious since the price of silver is so good. Uh, but the price of gold is you know, pretty good too, in my opinion. Uh, you know, one of my earlier videos I did, I compared and contrasted the, the Krugerrands to the American Eagles. I complained a little bit about the tone and the coloration of the Krugerrands. But they're starting to grow on me. I tell you, when I can get them at a good price, and I pick these up just for about $10 above spot on the Krugs, I couldn't pass those up. I picked up four ounces yesterday, um, and it's uh, a great addition to the stack. But I wanted to run through some of the gold coins that I have, Chinese Panda, the Maple, the American Eagle, a Sovereign, and just kind of run through these on the, on the verifier here just to give you an idea of again how great this tool is and how it can really benefit you if you're stacking gold and or silver. So I'll start this off with the Krugerrand. You just put it in there as a Krugerrand and you put the sample on the uh, measuring device here and it's going to come up and just boom right in the middle. So that's a good Krugerrand. I'm just going to run through all four of these really quick. Boom, solid samples, solid readings. And that's one of the things I really like about this tool is that it has specific readings for specific types of coins. What I did not see, and I've gone through it a couple of times, I didn't see anything for a silver eagle, which kind of surprised me. But uh, so now I got to go back. They don't have a setting for some certain uh, some certain coins. That sounds intelligent for some coins. But here's the gold eagle reading. Boom, right in the middle. So that's good. They don't have a reading for the Canadian maple leaf, which kind of surprised me. So you just have to put it in as solid gold. So I'm going to go over there to the gold and put pure gold. Of course, this is a 4 nines fine. I would anticipate it's going to be a solid reading. And boom, pretty solid there. The through was a little weak on that one. I'm not really worried about that at all. On the flip side, again, solid reading. So that's a good maple. Now here's a panda. I'm not a real big fan of Chinese coins, but again, if I can pick something up at Melt, which I did on this particular coin, or at Spot, uh, I'll jump all over it. So let's put that on there and see how it reads. It's, it's, saying, it's saying it's a little thin, and that's because it can actually be read under this bridge over here and should give a solid reading right there in the green. This is a Krugerrand. A little tenth ounce Krugerrand, so I'm going to go ahead and change that back to the Krugerrand setting. And I'll place that here under this one. And boom, green readings there. And then we have the maple leaf also, so I'm going to go back and set that to gold, pure gold. And then I'll have to change the weight here because it's a tenth of an ounce, not a full ounce, but I'll set that under there like that, and boom, solid readings right in the middle. So that gold maple leaf is great. Now here's a gold sovereign, not a pure gold coin, so I'll have to change those uh, settings again real quick. But it should give us a solid reading, boom, there it is. So there you have it, when you're reading gold, um, you know, it has settings for specific types of coins. If it doesn't, uh, you still put it on whatever setting is going to work the best as far as the uh, type of metal that it is. If it's pure gold, obviously with the pandas or the Canadian maples, you're just going to set it at the highest setting. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some silver. There are a lot of silver rounds out there, so I wanted to run through some of these. And most of these are just standard typical rounds that are three nines fine. Here's one from Monument Metals. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we go, got to change the weight back to a full ounce here. All right, let's look at the Monument Metal Silver Round. So it doesn't really like that uh, that particular round. Sometimes I'll have to move it around and see if it changes any. But the surface reading on this particular coin, and I don't know if it's because it's such a high gloss type uh, finish on this coin or what, but it doesn't like it. So I'll flip it over. I really don't have any doubts about this coin, but you never know. A little better readings on the other side. But let's also measure it, just to make sure. So we're going to put round there, 
line everything up and it's right on the money so that's a good round how about uh, sunshine sunshine minting three nines fine silver let's take a look at that ha uh, low in the yellow high in the green I feel pretty confident about that, but I'll go ahead and measure it anyway. Whoops, I took it off too soon. <laughs> you see that? It was not going to like that. So you have to make sure, and I didn't make sure, that when I go to measure, I put in that it's around before I remove it from the bridge, or it's going to really throw off the readings. Once you do it correctly, then it's right on the money. Canadian Maple Leaf. Solid, not even going to measure that one. When it shows up both in the green, I really don't have any doubts. Here is a Mexican Onza or Libertad. Doesn't really like that side. Let's check it on this side. Eh, about similar reading, so we better measure this one. I don't really have any concerns about it, but we're going to measure it anyway. And putting it on there, it lines up within spec. So that Libertad is in good shape. How about the Inkyu's Indian round? I really like these rounds as well. Let's put this on there and see how that reads. Pretty solid reading. High green, low yellow. Same thing, high green. Let's go ahead and measure it just for good measure, for lack of a better word, no pun intended. Right on the money. That's a solid round. How about the American Silver Eagle? Now this is what kind of surprises me is that the this particular tool doesn't have a setting for the Silver Eagle. Probably because it's pure silver uh, like most of these rounds uh, and that's why they didn't do it that way but it would just be kind of a quick easy way not that saying silver pure isn't any easier. Put that on there. It actually has higher readings on the through and the surface as well. Let's flip the sides of that round. So let's measure it just to make sure all within spec. Boom, right on the money. Great round there. Now this particular one is the most suspect that I have in my whole stack. Uh, I don't really care for the smooth edge. I like the reeded edges. And most of the counterfeits that I've seen have had these smooth edge uh, edges on them. So let's kind of see how this one scans out. Well, not really different than most of the other coins or rounds that I've tested so far. So there it is, and we'll just measure it for good measure. And it's right on the money, so within spec. So the last one that I'll do is going to be a 90 percenter. This is a 1925 uh, piece dollar haven't had a chance to check any of these, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it on there. Boom. Right on the money. So there you go. Testing some 90% constitutional silver, or junk silver as some would call it, and a variety of different rounds along with the gold. Uh, what a great tool to give you peace of mind and comfort that the stack that you're collecting is legitimate and that you shouldn't have a problem if you ever needed to flip something, sell it uh, to a dealer or sell it to a private party. And uh, when I have a private party come in, as I've said in my other videos, you know, I run everything through this because it makes everybody feel more secure about the transaction as well. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Uh, keep stacking out there, YouTubers. I am very close to doing a giveaway. The I think I'm right around 200 subscribers right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway at 250. And hopefully from that point forward, the channel will continue to grow quickly. I appreciate all of your support. Again, it's Wednesday, April the 10th, and this is Silver Bugle with his Sigma Metalytics Verifier Pro. Not getting any kickbacks. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, I just want people out there to know what a great and valuable tool this is uh, for your stack. Take care, folks.